really talk about it. And uh, having played it last year, how much of a sense do you have of this rivalry, and, and obviously what it means to the fans? I know you guys have to treat every game the same, but is it ramped up a little bit for the players because you know what it means for the fans? Um, I mean, just like you said, we kind of we, we treat every week the same, just nameless, faceless opponent. I mean, with that being said, we do understand how how deep this kind of almost like a hatred goes for uh, for Nebraska, and I know they don't like us either. Um, but, I mean, we're just going to go out there and play the best football we possibly can for four quarters, and, and if it takes more than that, if it takes more than that, then then we'll do that too. But, I mean, we're excited about it. I mean, the rivalry game is always fun. Stadium's going to be packed. Um, highest highest revenue, I think that's what that's what Rick said, in the, in the history of Colorado football. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's huge. That's big stuff. So, atmosphere should be great, and uh, we're just excited to get out there and play. Steven, last week you guys uh, put up half a hundred and uh, you know, five, six hundred yards of offense, uh, 300 yards rushing, so the numbers look pretty good. When you went back and looked at the tape, kind of, kind of grade your offensive performance, you, the, the entire unit, and, and where you see room for improvement. Yeah, I thought we looked good. I thought we looked really clean. I thought, I thought we ran things really well. Um, didn't have a lot of foolish penalties. I think we only had one false start, which is, which is really good for us. I mean, we cut those down or just keep, keep them where they're at. Uh, if we can cut it down to zero, I mean that would be really, really good. But I mean, no turnovers. Another big, another big uh, checkpoint that we that we reached last week. Um, I think if we could just keep doing those things, taking care of the ball, and just keep running the offense at a very high level, then I think we'll be in good shape. Steven, what's the appreciation you have for a wide receiver when he when when he catches a hit or when he catches the ball right as he's getting pounded by a defensive back like Tony Brown did in the third quarter? Um, and KD. On, and KD. Um, so, so what, what kind of confidence does that give you as a quarterback? And then with Tony specifically, how has your guys' chemistry grown now that he's in his second year here? Yeah, I mean, me and Tony got really great chemistry. I mean, it's always, it's always just, just kind of really positive when, uh, when you throw a ball out there and it's going to be a close call with safeties or corners or whoever, and the receiver takes a hit and holds on to the ball. I mean, that's a real, that's just kind of a real motivator. Really gets everybody going, gets, gets the O-line going, gets the running backs going, gets all the other receivers going too. It just shows a lot of toughness, a lot of toughness, and I think that's what our guys have outside and, and up front, and just kind of just kind of all over everywhere. And that's what that's what Coach Tuck has just kind of been preaching about us: just toughness, physicality. That's kind of those are the the attributes that we want to have as an offense. And I think they definitely showed in some of those catches that that our guys made outside. Stephen, uh, two part question here. Number one is that you've had Lindsey and, and McMillan in the backfield. What's Alex like as a, as a running back? And then he said he's kind of a quirky personality. In what ways is he quirky? Um, I mean, honestly, the first one. First, I mean, he's he's very dynamic back, very fast, very uh, very shifty, and uh, I mean, I, as you as you guys saw on on Friday, his balance is kind of a little bit different. He breaks that first tackle, and whether they're pulling on his leg or or grabbing him by his jersey, he kind of just slips that tackle, does a little stumble bum drill that we do in practice, and just goes and scores a touchdown. So his balance, I think, is his his uh, his best quality. And then just kind of as a person, I mean, he's a he's a funny dude, funny dude. He's kind of he's kind of a little different, a little different, but definitely funny. Um, good guy, humble, good to be around in the locker room. Everyone talks a lot just about the depth you guys have a wide receiver and how it's one of the most talented position groups on this team. But mm -hmm. how much of a boost is it for the offense just to to have a guy like Alex who goes out there really looks like he belongs on the field and. and Hits the ground running, no pun intended, just against the Rams. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I mean, I think it makes our offense that much more dynamic, and uh, just we can hand the ball off and be good, and we can we can drop back and pass the ball as well, and also and also do some good things, some positive things. So, I think it was definitely definitely a big a step in the right direction, going out there and showing that we can run the ball, and uh, hopefully we can do that again this this week. Steven, there's been a few quotes out of Lincoln already this week about some of their players saying how they don't like you guys, how their head coach doesn't like you, how they felt they were the better team last year and they know they're the better team this year. Do you feel like winning last year in Lincoln amped up the rivalry or got their attention or kind of created this kind of atmosphere? Um, I mean, it might have. I can't really speak from their shoes. Um, I know last year we, we went out there and we just tried to play the best football we, we possibly could for four quarters, and uh, it ended up being enough to get the job done. As far as their talking goes, I mean, they're talking enough for both of us. So. Steven, we saw you under center, pistol, shotgun. Just how 
much more difficult is this offense for other teams to prepare for? You feel as you get deeper in the season. I think it's I think it's more difficult for other teams to prepare for just because we have so many different looks that we that we get into and that we show the defense. And I mean, for us, we're we're running somewhat same plays, similar plays, uh, and similar reads for me. But um, yeah, it's it's just it's a different look when you get into twelve, when you get into eleven, when you spread it out. And it's not not so much just all spread, all shotgun, all the time like we were last year a little bit. Um, it's definitely nice to get under center and open field and just just try to run that ball right down somebody's throw. I mean, that's I don't think there's any better feeling than that. You weren't sacked on Friday. Was that uh, when you went back and looked at things? Was that better decision making by you? Was it? Better offensive line play was it a combination of? Or how, I think it was a combination of both. I think I think first of all, I mean, you got to give credit to the big guys up front. I mean, they did a phenomenal job on Friday of protecting me and and doing good doing good things not only in the run game but also in, in the pass protection game. They played they played their butts off, and then I think it's also just um, a mixture of me getting the ball out a little bit quicker and just kind of getting through those reads a little faster. Rick said that this is the highest going to be the highest grossing game ever in CU history. I don't know if you. Aware, but I think like tickets on some of the websites are going for five, six, seven hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> what kind of does that change? I mean, your approach to this game or how you feel about it all, just knowing how important it is to the people who are going to attend. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really change my approach. At the end of the day, football is football, no matter how many uh, fans are in the stadium. I mean, obviously, it's going to change the atmosphere a little bit. It'll probably be a little bit louder. I'm sure there'll be a lot of Nebraska fans here trying to be loud when we're on offense, which is fine. I mean, we've played in loud environments before, so it's not going to be any different to us. A year ago, this team was right on the verge of being recognized as one of the best of the country when, I don't have to remind you, it kind of went sideways. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have a chance to play a nationally ranked team to really establish yourself as a team to be reckoned with? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're excited to get up and play anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if they're ranked or not. I mean, we, we get up and play anybody you want us to get up and play for. I mean, we're excited about just having the opportunity to go out there and play football, which is the game that we all, we all love. And, um, I mean, we get the opportunity to do that again Saturday, so, so we're pumped about it. We're hyped. We're very excited. Who was the better team? I mean, I don't know. You guys watch the game, so I guess you'd have to tell me. Appreciate it.